Hello everybody and welcome back. Let me quickly just raise the camera just slightly. So this is another video where I'm show, showing you a different keyboard case for the Tablet S4. As I mentioned in my previous video, I start using my Tab S4 more and more and basically I'm using Tab S4 for Android, um, for DeX, for Linux and DeX and remote connecting to a PC most of the time or nearly every single time instead of my using Note 9. Note 9, I using what I need quickly scribble on the note using S Pen or when I forget the tablet to take with me, S9 becomes as a DeX replacement for the DeX. It sounds a bit weird, but I'm using a Note 9 DeX to replace this S4 DeX when I'm leaving this in at home by mistake or in office. Anyway, let's go back to the main topic of this video. So Galaxy Tab S4 case that I picked up about five, 10 days ago. And this keyboard case um, is better than the previous one. I still got the previous one here. That's the one I was showing you in the previous video. If you wanna check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. And, and if I will forget, or if I will remember, I will put the card popping up anytime soon. So this keyboard case, I think is called What's this called? Let me quickly find out. It's called Jellycomb, Jellycomb Tab S4 keyboard case. And uh, the actual build quality is feels better than this one. This one feels more heavy duty and leathery, if that makes sense. This one feels slippery, but it feels more premium. I, I would say, I, uh, I will confess, I was a proud owner of iPad two quite a while ago and I had the case and the case had the same material and feel as this does. So I, I, I would say this is more like a Apple product feel. Anyway, because it's slippery and it's a bit shiny, the fingerprints or greasy fingerprints becomes quite, a, a, let's say a common, common uh, visual aspect of this case. Anyway, let's go. Let's go into open up. It does have like a magnetic latch so when you press the magnet latch it opens up this way that's where the tablet will go that's where the pen can go i'm gonna put the pen straight away so pen is in pen is in its way and again as a previous one just quick quick finger move we'll take the pen out i don't wanna there you go i don't wanna flick the pen so f and it's gonna fly away okay so this keyboard case is slightly different from a previous one because the keyboard is attached to this case. So it's one body, so it's one, one product. So it's not like the keyboard gonna go a lower place and it's just attached. Obviously keyboard is being covered with the same material as the back and it feels very premium. And the keys, keys are more feel like a laptop, good laptop keys instead of the previous case, which was felt more like a, a very cheap PC kind of keyboard case. This key keyboard feels more comfortable to type on than this one. So because it's like a keyboard uh, case or keyboard is attached to the case, there is only a one position you can have this case set up. And this is using this back flap. So if you roll around, it attaches by magnets. It becomes something like iPad case used to be. And this is the setup. So let me quickly shove the Tab S4 in this case and we're gonna go and do a bit of test drive. Again, the same one, you put the back, the, the bottom bit in, a gentle press, not going too nuts. This, this, and here we go. And obviously then I can start typing. Like I said, keyboard, key, keyboard presses is very comfortable. There is like a little, like a limp, like a, I don't know, as you can see, like a little rays goes around it. Sometimes it's annoying, but because there is no by here by the space, I hope you can see there is nothing here by this space, like a small cut out, cut out. It's very comfortable to type. Uh, connecting is very easy on and off the Bluetooth button, pressing function and the letter C if you follow the instructions, which by the way, we still have. And you can connect this one to your Android tablet quite not a problem. Reef, we're gonna go, let's say I need to make a note while I'm on the go. That's it. I can hold like this, take the pen and start writing, put the pen back in. I need to close it. 
I know that by holding one hand, I can use the hand to close it. Not like I mentioned with this one, when you have the keyboard all over the place and it's because it's detachable. When you go like this, go around it and etc. There is a high chance that keyboard might slip for, let's say, some moist or water or something around here. It might slip and you can drop the keyboard or the case with the tab inside. So uh, another thing, obviously, I think I not mentioned in a previous video, but this keyboard case do have a magnetic wake sleep function. So if I open up, come on, wake up, go back to sleep, wake up, go back to sleep. I'm not sure if I mentioned in a previous video about this keyboard case. This keyboard doesn't have the sleep wake button. Oh, sorry, sleep wake feature it doesn't have because it just doesn't have. <laughs> This one do, and um, it's very, very good because I know when I close it, the keyboard is in a standby mode. Where I found out with this one, the screen was still on, and was basically I set up my keyboard to go sleep automatically every 10 minutes or after 10 minutes. So, with this keyboard case, I found out that the, my tablet was draining quite quicker than with this case because when I close it, it's just stays close. Another thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned with the previous case, but this case has a very, let's say, if I'm in office or at home, want to connect to Dex, I hold like this and I don't really need this screen, I can actually do this. Keyboard uh, screen is off and is pumping Dex to my uh, PC monitor, to my portable monitor. With the other keyboard case, this, this review is turning into a comparison between these two cases. This keyboard case, because it stays like this, I cannot hide the, the display, so the display is always on, or I need to force it to turn it off. But with this one, it does have this very amazing, like a standing position. So I do what I need to do, quickly open up, okay, that was a bit loud. Do what I need to do, shut it, and then do on the PC. And this case is my favorite at the moment is by the way a uh, couple of more things obviously all the cutouts is easy to access so the buttons that you have at the top of the or on the side of the tablet is easy to access the charging port easy to access there is no cover on the speakers that's great headphone jack easy to access and pretty much that's it and obviously this keyboard case is the same as the previous one which i will pull out now it do have a charger like this previous one it has micro b and okay and this keyboard case does have micro b connection here to charge it i charged it full when i got that delivered to me and let's i was i'm using this keyboard case quite let's say very heavily in the past five days four or five days and it's brilliant i not notice any i think it's gonna last me for about 20 days 10 15 to 20 days without charge so very good very good I will leave a link to this keyboard case in the description below. I will leave a link to a previous video I was talking about this keyboard case if you want to go and check that out. So here we go. If you own a Tab S4 or any Galaxy tablets with DeX enabled, and what case do you use? I'm quite interested to know what case do you use is your what what you hope or what you wish that your case had. As for example, this one is perfect. It's just I do not have F1 to F12 keys. This one do have F1 to F12 keys, but this case of this keyboard is a bit crap. So I wish to have F1 to F12 when I'm remotely connecting to a Windows machine. And please, oh please, I need escape key. I don't need a back button or cancel button on Android. I need the button function as shoot function on, on Windows, escape key, nothing else. So here we are. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link to this tablet, to this tablet case, to this keyboard tab S4 case in the description below. And I'll see you next one. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Now, the end.